another fresh six to talk about. I ain't from the six, but I'm close by. I'm in Connecticut. All right, so I'm up north. But that six seems to be the right number. So we're going to talk about the six right after the intro. So don't go nowhere. Back to doing another video. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back here with another video. As I said in the intro, I got a fresh six to talk about, but y'all know the routine. Y'all come back all the time, so you know I gotta say it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, and share the video. It's as simple as that. Like, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down button, and share the video. That's all I need you to do. All right, that being said, let's jump right into it. First one up, from a small house. Now, I kind of got confused because everybody know I like that Adolfo gold. Everybody know I love that. It's a nice scent, man. I've been trying to get people to understand how good of a scent that is for the low, low price. So, thinking that I ordered from the same house, I ordered this one. But it's not from that Adolfo fragrances. It's from Adolfo Dominguez. Dominguez is right there. This is called Agua de Bamboo. Agua de Bamboo. If I'm not mistaken, I think Aqua or Agua means water. There's the box there. You pick this up at Fragrance Net bottom you got the batch or not the batch code yeah you got the batch code and you also have this the, the uh, UPC number down at the bottom of the barcode all right got the Adolfo Dominguez at the top Let's see what the bottle looks like again you can pick this for the low low on fragrance net Let's see if I can get this bottle out though here's the bottle nice this is a dope bottle got a little gradient too like a uh, a greenish navy blue look to it at the top and then it goes down to a lighter see-through glass at the bottom this is a very nice gradient bottle here I like that man that's nice that's really really nice feels really good in the hand too it's really smooth cap is nice and snug Jesus Christ that was snug try it again it snaps in place you can hold it from the cap this is a really snug top Wow, plastic though, plastic, see-through, got that same that same look. All right, here's the atomizer. Actually, oh, that's kind of dope. It's got the, it actually has a batch code right underneath the atomizer. Let me make sure the aperture, I can't see the aperture because the aperture is the same color as the goddamn um, atomizer. But here's the spray. Decent, uh, decent atomizer too, but let's get into it. Major notes, bergamot, bamboo, tea, Grapefruit, meat, and black pepper. Some of the major notes in this. Oh, this is a nice scent for the summertime. Oh, this is gonna be a nice fragrance for the summertime. God damn. I like this. Okay, so you get that nice blast of bergamot, but you get that watery feel from the bamboo. And that tea, so bamboo and tea. Oh, very citrus heavy at the top but smooth. It's not a sharp citrus note from the grapefruit and the bergamot. But that bamboo and that tea, man, this is really, really nice. You get a little spiciness from the black pepper. And it's like a vetiver base. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be a nice fragrance for a summertime, man. Very light. Don't seem like it'll last too long, but I'm not too sure. This is the first time, as you know, let me get my nose on it. Adolfo Dominguez, Agua de Bamboo. This is nice. Very airy, very aquatic. 
that tea and bamboo is really, really nice. And you smell it. And this is on paper on top of that. Yeah, this is nice. And again, this is, you can pick this up for the low, low price. I think it's under 30 bucks. Damn, that's nice. You might get this for under 30. Double check that. But again, this is nice. I like that, man. Because it almost, it almost makes me feel like that um, He by Alpha Sun. But a little bit better quality or a little bit louder is what I should say. And, and it has that it has that added T note. Which is really, really good. It's it's a sweet tea. As well as being herbal. This is nice. Damn, this is nice. I'll go with the bamboo by Adolfo Dominguez. Next one from the house of Periellis. And I don't know what type of, what, what they call this line, but it's from the Periellis line. It's the most recent line that they came out with. This is Periellis Bold Red. Bold Red. There's the box. Box there. Got some type of graphics on the side. Bottom has the uh, UPC code as well as the batch code at the bottom. Let's go. I took all the cellophane off it, but I didn't smell it. I just took the cellophane just to make it a little bit easier and less noisy on camera. Let's get this thing out of here. Maybe if I stop pressing down on it. All right, here we go. Again, there's the box. There's the box. All right, nice red bottle. This almost has the same type of look as that, um, uh, the Sun Man Sport by Jill Sanders. Same type of red bottle. All right, there we go. Periellis on the side. But other than that, you know, you got the stick at the bottom with all the, in, all the uh, information on the Periellis, EDT. A 100 mil spray let's see what the spray is like now this cap here is not all that strong and you could probably lose it if you try to hold it from the cap it doesn't snap on like the other one and it's a loose cap i had some rattling inside major notes in this red apple green leaves finger lime ginger musk and tonka bean now right there, this pretty much tell me it's going to be probably a, a small, a, a false scent. But if you're like me, you can get away with wearing anything at any time of the year, as long as the temperature is correct and right. Oh, this is nice. You can wear this in the summer, summertime or springtime. This is nice, man. Nice sweet top to it with the green apple. A nice little sparkle or spice with the ginger and that finger lime but it also sweet and musky at the same time this is really nice man i like this too periellas make some decent fragrances man they're not they're not the most expensive thing in the world but they make some really really good fragrances sometimes we get caught up in thinking that Fragrances don't do anything for you if it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I know this rant I go on every now and then. Sometimes we got to get off that. Because you won't have the money that you have or the resources that you have all your career. Or your YouTube career. And I'm not talking about anything, anybody in particular. I'm just saying. Remind yourself to stay grounded. Right? Remind yourself to stay grounded. Because again, you and I both started like that person that's just starting their career today or their YouTube channel today and going out and buying these fragrances at the cheap, cheap price, you know, to get into the game because they got this hat, they got this hobby that they like call fragrances. So just remind yourself, man, we all started somewhere. So you're not going to have those resources all the time because I stay grounded. All right. Anyway, this Periellis, nice scent for a decent price. Now that green apple seemed to be going away now, and I'm getting a little bit more of the ginger and the finger lime, as well as those green leaves. But that sweetness at the top is starting to fade away. But it's musky and it's got that sweet background from the Tonka. But the Tonka is not as sweet as as that green apple and it's 
probably because it's still early in it in the, um, the fragrance journey but check that out Perry Ellis bold red so I'm gonna lay that down there until I get to the box because I threw the box like an idiot when I could have just placed it right here and I could just grab it and put it in the box but I'll get it later the next one the next one is from one of the houses that actually started me on my journey in collecting fragrances are Moth and this is Hunter Intense and this is the EDP this is the EDP now this is supposed to remind people of something I want to say Invictus Aqua I'm not too sure let me see if I can find that up I'm gonna pull out my, my other phone and try to find that out for everybody let's see so it's supposed to be like I said Invictus Aqua but no this is supposed to be a twist of Mark Blanc Legend is what is saying it's supposed to be a twist of. I don't get that. I don't get that. Why would they want to make a twist on Legend? That's what I'm saying. I don't get it. But let's see. Let's see what it smells like. Because normally, you know, they always clone in like Aventuses, like the Creeds and stuff like that. But let's see, man. Let's just go ahead and, you know, give it a whirl. All right, there's a cap there. Here's the bottle. Got that fake leather or whatever that is going around it, saying Hunter. All right, the bottle with the stick, the stick at the bottom. And this was made in France. It's made in France. Yep. All right, here's an atomizer. Not that bad, not shabby, but could be better. Oh, this is nice. God damn. Right off the bat, I'm going to say that it's got a very airy smell to it. Yinga Lane. Geranium. Lavender. Black pepper. Labdomen. And musk. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. You know... I have Mark Blanc Legend Intense. No, Mark Blanc Legend EDP. And I'm gonna have to compare these two now. This is nice, god damn. I slept on this. But this is the EDP, not the EDT, so I think the the original one I I overlooked was the the EDT version of this. This is the EDP. And you can actually see it right up under the E, EDP there. Let's see if I can get it on there. Yeah, this is, this is super nice, man. This is gonna be a crowd pleaser. This is definitely one of those ones that's gonna be a crowd pleaser. This is gonna give you everything you need. Very airy, sweet. It's got a very faint powdery note. Yeah, this is, this is great, bro. Damn, that's good. All right, I gotta move on, man, because my wife will be home in a minute. And we got to go pick up the rest of our equipment that we left or supplies that we left over a friend of our house who we um, did our first event with. All right, so we gotta keep it moving. Next one. It's one of my sleeper houses, man. One of my sleeper houses, Nino Ceruti. Nino Ceruti. 1881 black all right that's the name of this 1881 black some of the major notes in this bitter orange pepper marpan agarwood and lavender now i had to get this man so i can round out my collection of this 1881 there's some i'm missing because i you know i don't want i'm not overspending for the scrap no that's not gonna happen but there's some i'm missing the amber the intense and the note those three is one of the ones i'm missing i believe but this is black it's kind of look gray if you want to you know really get down to it it's actually gray it's atomizer like all us really atomizer sprays a nice amount of juice and sprays kind of far let's go again i gave you the notes Oh, this is sexy. Yeah, this is 
mature, not super mature, but mature enough. It's not old. This is modern, but this is modern. This is this is definitely sexy and very signature scent worthy right here. Yeah, this is nice. Oh God. Yeah, this is nice, man. That citrus top, and it's a little sweet to it. With that black pepper, give it that spice. And the lavender, and then goes down to that woody base with the agarwood or oud. Oh yeah, this is nice, man. This Saruti 1881 line is serious. It's serious. I'm gonna run down my line this week. I ain't gonna wait. This week, I'm gonna run down the line bring out all of the Cerutis that I have so far and talk about each and that every one of them this one's gonna be the one I talk about the least because or you know well not least but last because I'm just getting this I might have to wear this tomorrow to work to get a feel for it but as of right now yeah this is right up my alley man I put this in that same category but not as good as that um uh Chasadi Umo the original Umo yeah, this is this is busting, man. This is nice. This is really, really nice. This is classy, bro. Classy. Suit and tie. Office. CEO. It can, those people, those type of people can wear this thing and, and really, really shine. This fragrance will shine. You wear a nice suit or some nice outfit. You clean your body. You present yourself well. Stuff like this would definitely shine. Damn, that's nice. So, Rudy, I'm about to put this on my skin. I don't have anything on right now. I got to get this. On. You know what? I want it with both hands. I want to smell it on this ride. We got like a 30 minute ride, and I want to smell it. You know? Oh, fuck. Yeah, who cares, right? It's my eyes. I can do this. I'm going to spray my whole arm all the way up. Nah, I'm just playing. I didn't mean to spray the forearms until I thought about it. I kind of missed. But anyway, this was Saruti 1881. It's got that leather, the, that leather note too. I'm starting to smell. This is nice. This is super nice. Okay. Two more to go. This one got a big container that I got to lift up for this one. From the house of Beaumain Paris. This is Beaumain own. Here's the presentation that it came in. And the reason why it's like this because this came with like a shower gel as well as like aftershave. All right, so let's open this up. This what it is. See that? Now we got an aftershave, aftershave here, and the sh all, all over shower gel. And here's the uh, here's the bottle itself. Nice presentation on the bottle. But again, this thing right here, the shower gel and the aftershave is definitely coming out of here. And then what I'm gonna do is use that for something else. But here's the bottle. Even though I love to keep my boxes. All right, batch code at the bottom there on the sticker. All right, got some type of like shoulder straps almost at the top here. Got the Bowman crest at the top. I think it's uh, what's that? It's like an eagle or something. Some type of falcon or eagle at the top. I don't know if anybody know what that is. They can share it down in the comment section. That's that. The atomizer is kind of small. It kind of sits inside inside the the bottle itself, so it's not that not that big. And let's see the what the atomizer shoots out. Aperture is pointing the right way. Let's see. Oh, nice, nice atomizer. Go. Let's spray this. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, this is super nice, man. This might get slight because it kind of fits into that Blue de Chanel, Sauvage, Dylan Blue, the blue category. Oh, this is nice, man. Oh, man. Yeah, this is super nice. This is a signature scent as well. It's slightly different. It almost feels like 
Roshash Loam and Dylan Blue made a kid. Ah, oh, this is nice. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, I rock the hell out of this too. This is this is definitely signature scent worthy. And it's a crowd pleasing scent. So you're gonna get people that's gonna say, damn, you smell good with this right here. That's just what it is. It's one of those fragrances that just smells really good. And it's not synthetic. None of that stuff where people would say, hey, I, I can't see somebody saying that. Even though I, I, I hate saying that myself because there's not a fragrance out there that doesn't have synthetic notes in them. So this right here fits in that ballpark of being like something that people would say, uh, it smells really, really nice. And you won't hear them say that, those words. And probably because also the name, this company is, is, is known for having luxury goods as far as clothes. So Romaine Prairies, this is nice, super nice. Get your nose on this, man. This is not an expensive fragrance. This is not an expensive fragrance. You can get this for a decent price online. Let's check that out. Again, you're looking in that blue category fragrance, on uh, that blue category line. The Dylan Blues, the Chanel's, um, the Blue Day Chanel's, the, the Sauvage, the uh, Dylan Blue, Rochas, man, all those fragrances. It fits in that category. It's nice. Boom, man. Oh. Lastly, lastly, from the house of Giorgio Mani, it's the EDP. I ain't gonna say no more. Aqua Digio EDP. Green Mandarin, Sea Notes, Mineral Notes, Clary Sage, Lavender. I smelt this in the store. I'm not gonna say it's the first impression. I smelt this in the store. I'm telling you, man, this is a nice fragrance. The DNA is in, is definitely in this fragrance from the original carrying all the way through to all other flinkers to this one here. This thing is nice. It is super duper nice. Look at that atomizer. Can't beat those. Oh my God, this is nice. Mm, mm, mm. You get that mandarin orange. You get an aquatic notes. You're getting that, those mineral notes. That citrus is so, it, it's a juicy, fruity top. It's a, not fruity, but it's a juicy citrus top. I'm closing my eyes just because I can see every note. And I sprayed that in the air. I didn't even spray it on, on paper. I just, I'm, I'm, I still got my nose, my, my eyes closed. And let me tell you, man, I still see every single note in this fragrance. Aqua Digio EDP. This is a nice fragrance, bro. This is nice. I am super pleased with this fragrance. I mean, there I go with those super and all that. Oh, can't beat this, man. Again, just so that way I don't confuse you. This Bomaine has bergamot, saffron, lavender, Violet, Leather, and Tonka. This has Green Mandarin, Sea Notes, Mineral Notes, Clary Sage, Lavender, and like Cedar or something. This is so nice. This is so nice. These two right here fragrances, these fragrances here, you can't go wrong with either one of them. They're both gonna get you compliments. They're both fragrances that you can do it all with no matter what you want to do dress it up or dress it down you can wear these fragrances it doesn't matter it does not matter these fragrances will give you everything you need and more all right that was aqua digio edp i want to thank you guys for watching this six and until the next six or the next video peace Back to doing another video.